we have created a list of 10 most essential skills to switch your career into QA automation. It does not reflect any specific programming language. Whether you are proficient with Python, Java, or any other, you will be able to perform automated tests. This one is quite obvious. If your job would be to automate any process, it would be best to have a rather thorough understanding of that given process, right? Testing is no different. A good QA automation tester has already gone through multiple testing projects. He or she is able to write test cases, test scripts and test scenarios almost from the top of his or her head. It would be best to know a thing or two about Selenium as well. Second skill is understanding of software development methodologies. It is our opinion that every software tester needs to have a solid understanding of software development methodologies. Those reflect how the development process is performed and from the tester's perspective they show, when would be their time to shine. Depending on the chosen methodology, software tests are performed either during or after development. Knowing if you use waterfall, agile or a less popular approach is crucial for testing strategy and work planning. While working in waterfall test execution takes place only after the whole development phase is completed. It has its pros and cons, but this approach is becoming less and less popular over the years. Skill 3 Analytical and Problem Solving Abilities This is a must-have for all testing jobs actually. We know that the job title says tester and the first impression would be that you should be a problem finder not a problem solver. That would be the case if you want to become a forever junior automation tester. Switching from finder to solver is actually a good path for a quick promotion. Your problem-solving skills are essential for creating or changing automation scripts, improving test coverage and testing time. Skill 4. Understanding of business requirements. This is strongly connected to the skills we mentioned above. Testing a software seems like a boring and nerdish thing to do. Those first two letters in a QA engineer position stand for quality assurance. Your job is to ensure that the software your team is developing is of the highest possible quality. It does not end in writing clean code or using up-to-date libraries or bundles. You can write an APP that the IT theoreticians will write papers on, but you might never sell it if it does not fit. Functional testing is one of the aspects where you will need to have the most understanding of business requirements. You need to understand why a given functionality was placed into the code. School 5. Automated test design and execution, on one hand, it seems obvious in order to test software you need to create and execute tests. On the other, isn't test automation something that would enable me not to create as much cases? There is much more to this skill that meets the eye. A proper automation test suite needs to have great test coverage. Secondly, those suites need to be properly optimized. They should focus on essential test cases and avoid redundancy. This will allow to perform less tests, use less resources and less time. Yes, you are right. This comes with experience. One of the benefits of automation testing is to quickly and repeatedly replicate the user's behavior. A skilled test creator can create scripts and cases that mimic those actions accurately. Skill 6. Proficiency in a programming language. Most automated test tools nowadays do not require the user to write actual code inside them. They run on low-code and no-code bases. Why would you need those skills though? Being proficient in software development means that you are able to think as a developer. It will require you to understand how and why the APP is being developed. Software development is one of the key skills needed to be a good tester. This is what actually differs between testers and test performers. Skill 7. Knowledge of test automation frameworks and tools depending on which programming language you know the best. You will probably also have a go-to testing framework. A proper knowledge of a testing framework helps to streamline the testing process as well as enhances collaboration within and among teams. Skill 8. Knowledge of continuous integration and continuous delivery. CI slash CD became a norm in recent years. It is essential for you to know where does your job fit into the processes. With proper CDCR, the results of your testing may and even should be able to automatically abort moving the software to further environments. You need to be flexible in order to blend into the process. There are two levels of communication for test engineers. Human to human is something we learn all our lives. When you want to refer to testing software, let's focus for a moment on bug reporting. You will probably be the one creating bug reporting parts. Try to include as many relevant information as you can. This will make the developer's job easier. Don't overdo it though. It is your job to dig through error logs.
Adaptability in software testing refers to the ability to adjust testing strategies, processes, and techniques based on changing project requirements, priorities, and constraints. It involves being flexible and responsive to evolving circumstances to ensure effective testing despite shifts in project. Continuous learning in software testing involves staying updated with new technologies, tools, methodologies, and best practices in the field. Testers need to continually expand their knowledge and skills to improve testing efficiency, effectiveness, and quality. Enjoying our content? Show some love by hitting the like button, sharing with your friends, and subscribing to our channel for more updates. Your feedback fuels our growth, so drop a comment below and let us know your thoughts on this session. We're eager to hear from you.